guys, it's April. I am going to show you really quick how to put this little bag together. Now, I didn't have the exact colors that I wanted, but I'm using all Cricut cardstock. I did my print and cut on white. And because the way this goes together, I didn't want a white background on my print and cut. Now, you have two files. You have one where you can layer up your images or you can do print and cut like I have. But I didn't want the white to show from my bag, so I did a second, and it's in the file. Um, you can cut this in the file with the print and cut. It is not in the file with um, the basic cut. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to start out and give this time to dry. I'm just gonna layer these print and cut panels up onto my colored panel. And again, this is white Cricut cardstock that I did my print and cut on. And then this is from the Brown Tones package. And you can, the beauty about this is, if, and I didn't do mine because it was too late, I had already done it. You can unflatten this image and then go in and change the color. So if you want this to be darker to match this here, you can most certainly change that up. So I'm just gonna line this up and get it as even as I can. It's still sliding on me. I might still have a little bit of white showing, but it'll be okay. Get yours lined up nice and even. So I'm just gonna set that to the side to dry and then I have his tail portion here and I'm gonna do the same thing. Just gonna cover up that white background. This is such a cute bag. Um, the idea came from a Bath and Body Works bag that um, Marianne showed us. And we went off the premise of that doing a reindeer bag. It's not exact, nothing major, but just inspiration for us to make our own paper bag. It was a felt bag that she had. So we got that one lined up. And then I did an extra print and cut in the file. If you didn't, that's fine. You can go back and do one. Um, do it before you cut your file and it will cut on the same page because you got two print and cut pages anyway. And I'm just going to pop dot up this bell portion on there. Uh, give mine a little bit of dimension here. There we go. Just so I don't have any sagging in the middle. I'm going to peel those release liners off. And then I'm just going to place it right on top. Just like that. So it gives it just a little bit of dimension there. Now this is um, a, a wobbler. It's an action wobbler. This is the big one. These are the, called the minis and they're about a half inch or an inch wide. And then these are the large. And because mine is big, I'm gonna use it. Now you don't have to have this. You can stick yours directly to the bag, but I am going to Place that right about here on this tail. Press that down, and I'm going to place that to the side. That way, when I put it on the bag, it's going to have some wobble to it, okay? It's going to wiggle around. But again, totally not necessary um, for you to have that. When you have your bag here, or your box, bag box, whatever you want to call it, and you're going to fold that on its score lines. And right here. That tab there, open it up again. I'm just folding on all of my scores.
So I'm filming this on Sunday. This is Monday's supporter file. And our appraisal uh, was just done. We're waiting to hear back from that. Thank you guys for bearing with me through all these meetings and things that we have while we do this. Now, this was sized to fit two of the Bath and Body Works. That being said, I hope this is sturdy enough for it. This is the 80 pound Cricut cardstock. I really wanted to use craft board for this portion of my uh, project, but I didn't have any of the coffee colored brown cardstock that I wanted or foil. I wanted to use foil and I just didn't have it. I was gonna use foil and then layer up my whole design. So, because I didn't have any, I went ahead and did print and cut. But this part, you could do a craft board or any of those and it should be fine. And I'm just bringing these together to create a nice crisp line. We had to design it this way to get the size of it. But many things you could do. You could put socks in here. This would be cute. It wouldn't matter. You could use all Cricut 80 pound cardstock instead of the craft board or poster board. Just gonna give that a minute to grab here. And I'm gonna go in with my bone folder and give that a rub. Okay, so just nice, nice and square. I'll just glue this one tab and the other one. It doesn't really matter. It's got to go in there one way or the other at some point. All right. See if I can get it to get sticky. down. And then I'm just going to rub, rub that down. I'm just trying to get that glue to grab hold. It doesn't want to grab as quick as I'm used to. Give it another rub. So there we have our little box bag. Now I've got some breads that look like ornaments, but you can use any kind of breads. And if you have no breads, don't fret. You can just glue your handle on, just glue it on right there. And then you can use a pearl or a bead or anything that you have to put that on. Now that being said, your handle won't move. If you use a bread, it will move. You'll be able to push it to the front and back. Got my little ornament bread in there. And I'm gonna come over to the other side. I just had these for years. I got them at a scrapbooking event. I thought, why not use them up? So I've got those on there. And again, any bread. Now, if you glue it, you're not gonna be able to turn it, but you can use any kind of bread that you wanna use there. So now, if you have a really tall gift, you're gonna wanna bring this guy up, you know, to cover it, or you can bring it, I'm gonna bring mine all the way down to the base, okay? Um, that's the way I'm gonna do mine. And I'm just going to actually, I'm just going to kind of look and give myself a little bit of a line just below. I'm not marking where my bag ends, I'm putting a mark where I don't want to go past the glue because the edge of my bag is going to come up there. So this is below my bag level. All right. And we're just going to bring him in and kind of center him up. Pop him on the bag. And you see, I stopped my glue just, just below it. And I'm just gonna go in and give it a rub down on the inside. How stinking cute. 
And while that's still wet, I want his hoof to be up under that piece. I forgot that. So make sure that you can still lift that up. Get his hoof under there. Just slightly. And we're gonna do one on this side. And it doesn't go under. That looks good. How stinking cute. And you can use some glitter or Nuvo Drops or clear glossy accents on this and really, really, really dress it up. Just gonna go in and give that a press down. Get it even with the bottom of the bag. How cute. And then we're gonna come over to the back and I'm gonna wait on my hoofs. And I want this to be right about there. I want it to stick up, man. I'm gonna bring it down. So I'm just gonna peel this and you can glue yours at any point on there that you like the look of. You can pop dot it up if you don't have these uh, with the foam dots, or you can, um, you could even, I'm adding a little glue to mine too. I usually do, even though it's got the tape stick. I'm just gonna press that down and go up underneath and hold it. We're gonna give that a few minutes to dry. How stinking cute is this? And while that's drying, again, you can pop dot that up or you could even cut um, a small square, make yourself a square and raise that up like you would on um, the inside of a card. I'll show you, I'll get a scrap piece here while this is drying and show you what I mean. I'm just putting his little back hoofs down here. Just the, uh, here's the little scrap. You can even take a scrap of paper and just fold it. course you'll want them to be even and make a square oops I made a triangle of course you'll want to make it even but make a little square a little square box and put that up under behind it to lift it up off of there if you want um, and you can make it as deep or as narrow as you want but super super cute cute little bag add yourself a little tag to it and have fun with it. I'm going to probably add a little bit of Nuvo drops or some glitter and stuff to mine, and uh, I will take photos and post that up for you. You guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for your support. Could not do any of this without you. Thank you to my moderators uh, and admins for helping out in the group during this time. Greatly, greatly appreciate you guys, and I will catch you on the next video.